We're not experienced cyclists, nor are we athletes of any kind. We are two people ready to take on a new kind of adventure. Our journey begins in Auckland and follows the Tour Aotearoa track to the south. This track is a series of roads and trails linked together to cross the entire country. Our first challenge was to navigate our way out of the city. This wasn't half as easy as it looks here. Before too long, we found a campsite for our first night. Pack it up the tent and then we'll head off. stand up the whole way. As you can see it took time for our bodies and especially our bums to get used to these long days on the bikes. Just cycled up Hi. our first massive hill and now the downhill. Oh this is sick. Oh shit. Ah. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. Right. How you going? Um, Kaylee's asked me to go through my bike and show you what's in my bags. Um, I've changed it probably every single day that we've been on the road, but I'll quickly take you through it. This is my front bag. This is apparently meant to be a snack bag. Um, mine is actually childproof. So I've got, oh yeah, I've got some lollies in there, wallet, phone. Here, this is my actual snack bag. I've got muesli bars, which I've been absolutely chowing down. My metabolism has gone through the roof. Favorite pocket on the entire bike. This is all the tools and mechanic -y stuff. And the other side, this is my bathroom. Toothbrush and toothpaste. And then coming to the back, we've been trying to change this a lot. This is my bedroom as such. This is all clothes in that bag. And then in this one is the kitchen. So that's, that's actually fully loaded because we're about to go on a trip where there's no shops or anything around for ages. So that one's that's pretty packed. Um, and then lastly, in the middle, that's where it's all set up at the moment. There's the tent over there, but the tent goes into this tiny bag and it sits just like that. Three days later and we were getting further and further away from civilization. The further we went, the more familiar we became with these big, hairy locals. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Bit of traffic today. <laughs> Bloody peak hour. <laughs> Don't get this in the city. So we've just arrived at camp and I thought I'd spend a minute just going through what is on my bike. In this little pocket here, I've got my hairbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, sun cream, things like that. 
Um, under here is our sleeping mat. So we've both got one of these um, squidgy mats. So in the middle here, I've got more toiletry stuff, sunscreen, bug spray. Um, and then on the other side is where my snacks normally are. But I've actually run out because I've eaten so much today. So there's no snacks in there at the moment. Have I have a look in here. This is where I keep the drone. Uh, chargers, towel, pillow. And this here is our sleeping bag. So there's two sleeping bags in there. And I think another sheet as well. Tripod for the camera, all the clothes. Uh, my laptop is in there as well. So that's it. Everything we've got with us. We couldn't pass up the opportunity to go kayaking along the way. We learnt loads about the native plants and animals and even got to see our very first glowworms. We... Where are we? Um, the Waipa... Waipa Camping Reserve. What is this thing? I'm so lost. Defeated by the hills. <laughs> we're walking from here. We're not, we're not fit enough for it yet. <laughs> My knee's sore. Get both bums sore. We're at the side of the road. <laughs> Bit sour. There's a spider in mine. <laughs> Join us next time where we finish the timber trail, survive our first storm, and eventually catch a ferry. <laughs>